If you're on the lookout for a great new show to help teach you about business, check out The Hustle Daily Show, brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network, the audio destination for business builders. The Hustle Daily Show is your daily dose of business, tech, news, and original stories to keep you in the loop on what's trending in business. Just like here, it's a daily podcast on which their team of writers break down the biggest business headlines in 10 minutes or less and explain why you should care about them. They'll also do deep dives on topics like a man who won the lottery 14 times and why it's nearly impossible to buy an original Bob Ross painting. I checked out a few episodes of The Hustle Daily Show and to me, it was quick, educational, and feels like the perfect show to pair with OWD. So search for The Hustle Daily Show in your favorite podcast app, like the one you're using right now. You'll be glad you did. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Forget the frustration of picking commerce platforms when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell. With Shopify, you'll harness the same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash tech. This is Optimal Work Daily, episode 1198. Leave your job on good terms. Don't make these six mistakes when you leave your job by Michelle Schroeder Gardner of makingsenseofsense.com. And I'm Dan, your host, and as always, thank you so much for being here. This is where I read to you every single day from some of the best blogs in the world that cover entrepreneurship, work, productivity, and much more. So with that, let's get right to Michelle Schroeder Gardner, one of our regular authors, and start optimizing your life. Leave your job on good terms. Don't make these six mistakes when you leave your job. By Michelle Schroeder Gardner of makingsenseofsense.com. Before my previous job as a financial analyst, I worked full-time as a retail manager. I watched many come and go over the years when I had that job. While some understood why they were getting fired, many were often angry and would do some disastrous things. I've experienced yelling, items being thrown, lies being told, and more. Many of these actions would then come to hurt them later when they needed a recommendation letter. Why would you even ask for a glowing recommendation letter from a place that you negatively left, wanted or needed to network, and so on? I know this isn't only true of where I worked when I was younger as well. I've heard many horror stories of people quitting a job in a bad way, and I'm sure everyone has personally seen or heard something at a place where they've worked as well. Whether you are leaving your job because you are experiencing a layoff, leaving for a new job, or something else, the tips that follow should help you leave on better terms. You never know when you may need a positive reference, a recommendation letter, if you may ever work with anyone at the company again, or whether you may even want your old job back. So that you don't make any mistakes when you leave your job, I've created this list of six tips on how to leave a job on good terms. Number one. Be nice when leaving or quitting a job. Whatever the reason may be for why you are leaving your job, you should always be positive when you are at work or around those that you work with. You should not scream, threaten, make fun of, or anything else along those lines. You do not want to be remembered in a negative way, so being nice is the way to go. If you want to, it is usually wise to thank your employer for the opportunity to work there. This is a great extra step to take if you're able to. Two. Give enough notice. If you want to know how to leave a job on good terms, then giving notice is extremely important. Industries and positions vary a little when it comes to how much notice you should give, but generally anywhere from two weeks to a few months is standard when quitting a job. If you know your employer is going to have a tough time training a replacement, then giving more time is usually wise. However, keep in mind that in some industries, once you give notice, you may be asked to leave immediately, especially if there is sensitive information involved. Try to do your research and see what others at your company usually do. Three, offer to train your replacement. While you may want to get out of your current position ASAP, in some cases it may be a good idea to offer to train your replacement and or to offer to be on call after you leave. This will definitely help your employer remember you in a positive way, as it shows that you also care about the company and those that work there. Four, leave important data, supplies, etc. If you want to learn how to leave a job on good terms, 
always leave what is not yours behind. No matter what the reason is for why you are leaving or quitting your job, it is never a good reason to steal anything from your employer. This is a surefire way to leave your employer on bad terms, and you may even have a police report filed against you. 5. Always provide quality work. While it sometimes may be easy to get excited about quitting a job, and you may be preoccupied with that, you still want to work smart. When some are about to leave their job, their quality of work sometimes noticeably drops. You should still provide the same level of work. Finish work that you are asked to do, arrive to work on time, stay until you would normally leave, and so on. And six, be smart on social media. Oh my, oh my, there have been countless times when I've been on social media and seen someone complain about their job only to see that their boss has commented on their social media post and told them that they were behaving stupidly. Social media is not private. Even if you are not friends with your employer or coworkers, someone else may be, and you never know what may be shared or saved for them to see. If you want to know how to leave a job on good terms, be smart about social media. You just listened to the post titled, Leave Your Job on Good Terms. Don't Make These Six Mistakes When You Leave Your Job by Michelle Schroeder Gardner of makingsenseofsense.com. You want consistency and quality, but you also want variety and freshness. If you run a business, you want it all. With nuts.com, you can get so many different delicious snacks and ingredients and know that they will consistently exceed your expectations. Nuts.com is your one-stop shop for the highest quality foods for business. They offer delicious office snacks, corporate gifts, and wholesale ingredients. And over 50,000 companies choose Nuts.com for their business needs, from offices to hotels to restaurants and retail stores. And we've even loved their product as remote workers. Nuts.com has sent us plenty of snacks that keep us energized and focused so we can deliver the best work that we can. Nuts.com makes ordering for your business quick and easy. Right now, Nuts.com is offering new business customers a free gift with purchase and free shipping on orders of $125 or more at Nuts.com slash OWD. So go check out all the delicious options at Nuts.com slash OWD. You'll get that free gift and free shipping when you spend $125 or more. That's Nuts.com slash OWD. We're driven by the search for better. But when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search, but match. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. And Indeed doesn't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it makes hiring all in one place so easy because Indeed's matching engine is constantly learning from your preferences. So the more you use Indeed, the better it gets. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at indeed.com slash startup. So just go to indeed.com slash startup right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash startup. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need indeed. And thank you to Michelle who created Making Sense of Sense to keep track of her financial progress, help readers improve their finances, and help her own personal finances. As an example, due to this, she was able to pay off $38,000 in student loans in just seven months. She lived in an RV touring North America and these days she lives on a sailboat. She and her husband were able to sell their house and become full-time travelers. And like many of the authors on our shows, she went from being in debt to financially free, and she documents the journey for all of us on her blog, and she gets into the details of it too. She publishes monthly income updates and shares how she now earns over $100,000 a month online. So you can check all of that out. Again, her site is Making Sense of Sense. that's C-E-N-T-S, dot com. But that should do it for today. I hope you enjoyed the post from Michelle, and I will see you right back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.